Cindy out of here with my artsy endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Um, dealing somewhat with some aftermath of pain from fixing my off my uh, studio again, but it is what it is. Hey, um, we are here this week for our ABCs um, of chronic pain. Now this week, um, what happened is this week is an O, and guess who lost all of the footage? on her tag <laughs> I did um, unfortunately this week and I believe next week yeah I'm basically just doing kind of a little review I'm not sure why I've got shadows what's going on here um, I'm just kind of doing a little review on the tag because unfortunately I ended up deleting a whole bunch of film and uh, there's nothing I can do about it so um, here we are O and we're looking at our our bad side or our negative side or our grumpy side or whatever you want to call this side um, and these are the words that we know um, happen with chronic pain uh, I basically did this tag with a bunch of um, die cuts a little bit of paper um, some this came out of a magazine I think a couple tags and you know just I just had fun playing with this tag when I made it um, the first word of course is ouch and I use this little band-aid isn't that cute I found this little pack of band-aid stickers um, and that is one of the huge words you know we all it's pain pain means ouch right um, another word I used was odd and the reason I did odd is because it's really um, kind of funny when all of a sudden your leg will start zapping or you'll start having muscle spasms in places that you didn't think there was supposed to be muscle spasms. Um, and, and the reason I call it odd is because it's almost like, you know, did I really feel that or am I just, you know, losing it? <laughs> so those odd pains, um, they really, they really get to you. It, it makes you think. Um, this is one that's haunting me right now, which is overdue. Um, yeah, I helped my husband. Um, I did not do any lifting or lugging, but as you guys know, when you're arranging stuff on your desk, whatever, it's a lot of movement. And um, my back is just screaming from it. I've been in quite a bit of pain for the last few days. And, you know, it is what it is. I did overdo, um, you know, but it's done. So now I just need to heal and enjoy my space. Um, obnoxious, yes. Uh, pain can get very obnoxious at times. Um, you get tired of saying, I hurt, I hurt, I hurt, I'm so tired of hurting. Okay, it gets obnoxious. Overwhelmed. Um, I was here a few days ago uh, with the pain. It just kind of, it, it, it gets to the point where you just, I've had enough. I've completely had enough of the pain. I've had enough of you know, taking the meds, I've had enough of the ice, I've had enough of, you know, Netflix, you get overwhelmed. There's, there's days that you just get to the point where you've just had enough and it really gets to you. And this old, same thing. It gets very old, very quick, being in a lot of pain all the time. You get tired of it. Not only physically, your body gets exhausted, but mentally as well. Um, there's there's days, and, and I have to say, honestly, today is kind of one of my days where I just, you just want to say to hell with it and give up. You really do. And you know what? We can't because this is life. This life chose us. We didn't choose it. I didn't go out there and say, hey, I'm going to pick up this router today so I can be in pain the rest of my life. No, we don't do that. It chose us. Is it trying to teach me a lesson? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's punishment. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. You know, it's it, it gets old. It gets overwhelming. And you just get to the point where you're like, oh, what am I going to do? All right. So here's our back side. Let's look at our front side. Um, this I did in brighter colors. I did it in the blues. Again, some die cuts. Um, little leftover um, paper that I had. Oh, that's that die cut. Um, and I only did three words on the front here. Um, the first one was open. 
And the reason I did open is because we really have to be open to the fact that we hurt. We have to be open to understand everything that's going on and why we hurt and why we're in the pain we are. You have to have an open mind. You really do. And you have to listen. You have to listen to your body. You have to listen to, um, you know, the people around the, you that tell you, hey, it's okay. It's okay. So we really need to have an openness when it comes to the chronic pain. Um, observe. The reason I put observe here is it's the same thing. We have to know what we're doing wrong as far as what we're doing that creates the more pain. We have to observe our body and say, okay, my back is starting to scream. Let's chill out for a while. You have to be observant to people around you. Um, there's, there's, you know, some friends that, you know, they get it. They understand you're in pain, but they don't want to hear about it all the time. Okay, so you have to be observant to know when is the right time and who is the right people, who are the right people. Here I am, my perfect English, right? Um, who are the right people to talk to? So it's not only, you know, observing your body, but it's observing your um, life around you and the people that are around you. Um, the last one I say is optimistic and, you know, Sometimes this one's hard. I try not to let it show. Um, but again, I think today is one of those days. I just, I want to go back to bed. I want to put my covers over my head and just say to hell with it. And you know what? I can't do that. I can't do that because this is my life. What good would it do for me to go back to bed and just say, I'm done. Okay, so I would lay there by the hour, by myself, just, what, being in misery, um, being self-loathing, being, um, you know, just gloom and doom? No, I can't do that. So I choose to be optimistic. I'm hoping that by being in my studio today, um, when I don't have the camera on, I've got my music on, I've got it on high. So I'm hoping that I can bring myself up out of this funk um, and take this pain and just kind of ride the wave and let it be because it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. So um, I'm really sorry you guys didn't get to see the process on the tag. I had a lot of fun playing with this. But like I said, that's what happens in the world of YouTube when you have all this footage and you thought you transferred it over and then you push that delete button and yeah, it's gone. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. And again, like I said, next week is going to be the same thing. I'm going to have to do a review because I did lose the footage. And then um, when we get back on to Q, we should have, actually, yeah, when we get on to Q, we'll actually have a, a process video again. All right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, take care. Um, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and gentle hugs to you all. And I'll talk with you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.